Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am going to open this Playmobil, uh, Back to the Future. It's really Back to the Future 2. I don't know if it's... Let's see, it just says Back to the Future, but it's a Back to the Future 2 themed set. It's set number 70634. It's got 80 pieces. Um, and it says 2015, so... I don't know if it's called the Back to the Future 2015 playset or if it's just considered a Back to the Future set. But anyway, um, we're going to open it and see what all's inside. All right, let's see. Trying to figure out the best way to open this so that it closes back. There we go. It's got a little bit of glue right there. I like these boxes because they have the tabs where you can close them back. I apologize. I had to turn the camera off and cough. I'm, I had COVID and I'm still, I actually still tested positive for COVID, but they said you can test positive for a long time. And uh, I think mine's actually turned into a sinus infection and ear infection. So I'm having more symptoms like that than I am COVID related symptoms at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so there's the pamphlet and there's the stickers. And the other one had the, uh, the advent calendar set had a ventricular thing like this. Looks like a this one is a postcard, <laughs> but this one looks like where the newspaper headlines changed. Let's see if I can get some better light on that. There we go. So as you tilted it, the newspaper headline changes. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the other one had like a the photo that looked like the, his siblings were being erased from existence. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> little bonus type deal. <clears throat> I apologize for the my voice. Okay. So this looks like it goes here. We'll snap that in in a minute. And I guess let's just lay out what we got out of the bags. And then we'll look at the instructions and piece it all together. I have the courthouse in the background that came from that uh, um, advent calendar. So it kind of can work with this. They have it in the background there. Actually, the one they have in the background looks like the one from the future. It has that glass. So it's not the same one, but I don't think they ever put that out anywhere. So we'll just use this one. So, okay. It has pretty much the same. Turn the light off so I don't have the layer. Okay. It has pretty much the same. Uh, picture and everything it's a little different i don't think it had the the courthouse in the background and stuff in the other pamphlets but and it's definitely got the back to the future 2 pictures in here and it says different things it says marty and doc have barely recovered from their first time traveling adventure when they launched themselves once more into the space-time continuum this time around, their attempt to fine-tune the future in the year 2015 creates an outlandish alternate 1985 Hill Valley where, where, Biff, ugh, where Biff Tannen is rich, powerful, and Marty's dad. Now their only chance to fix the present is by going back to 1955 all over again, but can Doc and Marty patch up the past without igniting a universe shredding time paradox? So it has a different write-up. And then it shows our 
pieces here. So we'll go ahead and start setting those up. Um, let's see if I can put that back here where I can look at it. So let's do it in the order it shows here. It's got this and that. And you have to have these little tab things. So I'm going to go ahead and open all these little baggies. Because I don't think they're necessarily in any order like Legos or something. Mega Constructs have numbers on the bags, but these don't. We're just going to lay them all out like little puzzle pieces here so we can see what we got. So we got lots of flowers. So it says it has 80 pieces. Most of those are little flower pieces, it looks like. <laughs> uh, a lot of them are anyway. This bag has skateboard stuff, and there's Mr. Fusion. Parts for this motorcycle. Okay. And then this part has what we're looking for for this, I think. Trying to get away here. Okay. Um, okay, there's this thing. And then I think the rest are people pieces, so we'll, we'll open that last. Um, so it has... Okay, this is like a little tool to snap things in, I guess. So this snaps in here, and then that snaps in, sure we got turned right, that snaps in there, okay, and then It has one little foliage piece on that part, so. Looks like this one. Okay, I think that's right. And then, we have to build this elaborate foliage piece. Then you got the two other sidewalk pieces, so you have to put those little tabs in there. So we'll go ahead and do that. I like the little tool thing. It kind of saves your finger. We're going to press those in there. Okay, so those snap on here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put our blue water there. It's kind of obvious. All right. And then we have to figure out this flower. It's got one big piece. And then this piece goes there. And then it's got a bunch of little red ones. Two really. Just two ribbons. And then it has a little green one on the top. And that goes here. All right, next page, some more foliage. So this one has a, that one, call that broccoli. <laughs> And then it's got three little white flowers. Drop that one. I'll find it in a minute. There it is.
Okay. And that's a big piece that goes in the middle. And then another little white flower up here. All right, and then that goes right there. All right. Then we got this piece. Looks like a piece of corn. <laughs> and it goes right here. And then we got these long looking under the sea kind of plants. They're a little different color. So technically you need to go that way. And that gets that page done. And then we have more foliage. So this is pretty, uh, like I said, these Playmobil instructions, I'm pretty impressed with them. They pretty self-explanatory from the pictures. I think they're well done. Kind of Lego instructions. All right, and that goes here. And then we have a light pole. And it goes there. And we got these two little blue things. And they go... I'm not sure where those are supposed to be necessarily, but I don't really remember them from the movie, but wow, they don't want to stick in there easily though. I wonder if that, I guess that can go that way. I'm going to try snapping this one in before putting the pole on it. I think I have this upside down. That's why I wouldn't want to stick in. I had it backwards. Now I can't get it out. I pressed it in so hard. Uh, let's see. Let me just pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. So I got that out. It took me, I had to get a little screwdriver to pry up on it to get it out. I squeezed it in too hard. So that goes one way. That's why I had such a hard time getting that to pop in. The uh, smaller version, smaller side goes into the thing. And that slides in there. Put her pole back. Okay, and... That gets that page done. Page five. Okay, this, those are posts, sign posts. That's what those are. So we got to put our stickers on our signs here. So we take this and okay, we got over the other bag. It's got some pieces we need. That over here. I think all we need out of this is this piece for now. Yeah, there's two different signs. There's one that's got two, and then there's one big one. The big one's your Jaws sign, so Jaws 19, I guess I should say. This time it's really, really personal. Okay, so I'm kind of a perfectionist on this, so if it takes me a minute to get it just right, 
I apologize. I actually did really good. I'm smoothing it out real good. Make sure it sticks really good and no bubbles. So I actually did really good. All right, and that one goes here. And then you got this one. I think that one's supposed to look like a video sign or something, but it's got the hover conversion video that popped up. I think the big part goes at the top, it looks like. So... Lined up just right. Here we go. And then we'll do the bottom part. I like that the stickers fit within that ridge. So sometimes you get things where the stickers don't match up just right and they don't want to lay flat. So that one does good. And then it goes over here. There we go. And that's all that was on that. Part. So now we're to our police motorcycle. So we got the main part, and we have let's see these two pieces and the windshield. So we'll start with the windshield. Okay, it snapped on there real easily. And then these part go over here on the sides. Like that. I dropped one, hang on. Okay, I'll do the other side here. There we go. And then that has wheels. So these two tires over here. And then these two wheels. So we have to assemble those. They snap in there real easily. Oh, that's not the right one there. This is a clear piece. Hang on. Here we go. All right, and then that goes these flip up and okay, and they go right here. So now it rolls, rolls pretty nicely. All right, next page. I guess that's all it is, a motorcycle. It's Doc Brown next. So it shows you how to put him together, but he's already put together. Um, but you can change the length of his jacket. You have to take his arms off. But if you take his arms off, you can change the jacket from the longer one to the shorter one. If he's in the car, he needs the shorter one on because he won't be able to sit down. So, <clears throat> But if you got him standing up, you'd probably rather have the long one on him. So we'll just leave that on him for now. Okay, and then you got the... Uh, let's see. 
This is where you can convert your car to the 2015 version. Go back to the future 2 hover converted version. So here's our car from before. Check out that video. And it says to take this part off. And it's easier said than done. <laughs> there. Woo, that wasn't easy. So you take this part off. This is the part where that um, post goes down in there, the hook. But yeah, I guess in the... Uh, Back to the future 2 version that part must not be there and it has a sticker that goes on it I don't know if that's focusing I'm sorry I'm trying to get it just right I didn't get it perfectly square, but it's all on there, so it's straight, so I'm okay with it. Okay, so that looks like that, and that has a little yellow thing that makes it stick down in that hole. Here it is. And I believe the little part goes, I think the big part goes in this that yeah and then the little part goes in this there so that's there that's replaces that hook and then you got your mr fusion and you just pull your plutonium thing out and you snap on mr fusion the red part goes towards the back so there and since this car already has the ability to hover convert, it's pretty much a uh, Back to the Future 2 car now. There you go. Got the Mr. Fusion. So we'll just leave that over here like it's ready for this scene. All right, then we have this uh, the two hoverboards. We got this hoverboard or Griff, I guess, and the little pink girly one that Marty has. <clears throat> so since it doesn't have wheels like the other skateboards did in the other packs it has this I think it just sits on it but it has this part too which is so that they can stand on it That's what you have to snap on is that. And those are just to sit on them, I guess. All right. Then next we have... The other two... The other two stickers we have the license plate it's in this one and and back to the future too the license plate had this like barcode kind of look to it 
this is California at the top, so it's got to be a certain angle, I guess. Uh-oh. I almost messed up on that one, but got it pretty good. It's a little crooked, but it'll do. I don't want to try to pull it off and redo it because I'm afraid I'll lose the stickiness. Okay, so there's that. I don't think it snaps on the... No. I guess you could put it... No, I don't really fit there. That's just for him to hold too, I guess. Even though that doesn't really make sense because he didn't really hold that one in the movie. But anyway, and then you have the sports almanac. So it's here. And that's our last sticker. It's a little trickier because it's not flat. It, it's supposed to look like it bends. So. But you can get down there pretty good still. Just take a little bit more caution doing it. Okay, so there's your sport dominic. And then it shows the rest of the figure assembly, so... Um, it's got some watches for Doc Brown, a cap for Marty, some gloves and a police hat for that police lady, and then Griff has two gloves and a helmet. So let's do all those. So there's Griff. There's his helmet. Let's see. I don't know if it has a certain direction it goes. Maybe like that. Let's look. That looks right, I guess. Okay. And then he has his gloves. Wow, those don't want to snap on so easily. Hmm. Okay. They just are a little difficult to get on. And, oh, he only has one glove. Maybe that's why I don't have it on the right hand. Oh, yeah. That snaps it on a lot easier on that one. So, I had it on the wrong hand. He only has one glove. He's got a smaller glove, it looks like, over here already. But this one's like a big, some kind of mitt or something. Okay. That's why I was having trouble with that. And we'll set him here for now. Let's do our police lady next. She has gloves. And a hat. All right. There she is. And we got Marty over here. He just has a hat. Let's 
It's supposed to look like it's got that reflective holographic look to it, but I guess it kind of has that. It's not exactly like the movie, but it's a little silver. But it does have that little shimmer to it a little bit. <clears throat> Alrighty. And then we'll put the watches on Doc Brown. A harder time with these than anything. There. All right. So that's all it really shows us in the uh, instructions. So I still have some questions. I'm not sure what some of these things are. Let's see. Maybe there's some extras, but I, th I think I missed something. Okay, I see what it is. Somewhere we missed. Okay, here it is. This ball that goes on top of this post, lamp post, it goes up here. There we go. All right, this is her nightstick. And this is Griff's baseball bat. And these are extra pieces, I think. I'm not sure what these are. That looks like something different. So I think the flowers are extra pieces. We'll put those aside. Oh, I think I just figured it out. Okay. She has some handcuffs, if you want to put some handcuffs on somebody, I guess. Put them on Griff when he crashes into the tower. Okay, I think we skipped some stuff on the Griff's hoverboard. Let's see, here it is. Okay, this part is like the booster things on his hoverboard. So they go there. Snaps him pretty nicely. And I think these. No, I'm wrong. I don't know what those little brown ones are for. I'll have to go back and look. For these little things here. Okay, so I'll put Griff on his hoverboard. Put Marty on his hoverboard. This doesn't sit on there as good. Hmm. Chris sits on there really good, but his, once you put Marty on there, he don't want to sit. But, okay, I got it. Okay, let me look through here one more time make sure I didn't miss something. I don't know what these other pieces are for. Okay, there's something there. That goes... Those little white tabs go on the bottom of this. I overlooked it. Okay, I see. It just kind of connects these pieces. So, let's see if we can do that without having to... Here we go. That's easy to overlook. But, and it just barely has a little nub there when you do it. But it, I guess it still makes it lock in a little better. Yeah, it just makes it... It just gives it just enough that it doesn't rock. So, not really necessary... But 
that's where they go. So we'll stick them in there. Oh, I stuck that one in the wrong one. Huh. It should have went the big one. It's going to be on the wrong side. There we go. Easy enough. It should have went into this one. There we go. Now... Uh, like I said, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I got to make sure I got all the pieces in there, even if they don't do anything. And I got these two little brown pieces. I don't know what they're for. So let me flip through here one more time. Oh, I see them. They go on top of these like little cattail things. So if you have extra pieces... Sometimes they give you extra pieces like little flowers and stuff and the little connectors. Those don't concern me so much because I know they throw in some extras sometimes. But if you have pieces that you haven't already used, they're usually for something. So just look back through it, find all the pieces. And, um, find out where they go with me. All right, so now... Let's just kind of set up our scene here and see what we can do with it and make it look like a the 2015 scene. So we're going to make it look like, let's look at the box, how'd they set it up. Okay, so they got it turned this way. All right, and then we can have it like it's, it's set right on there that time. We can have it like he's chasing him on his hoverboard. Now he won't sit on his. They're the same on both sides. There we go. We'll have Doc Brown over here by the car. And we'll have these, this police lady over here, I guess. She's watching the whole thing. So there's the Back to the Future 2 scene. We'll have Marty holding the almanac. <laughs> he, did, he didn't have it at that point, but we'll pretend he did. All right, so there's the Back to the Future 2 accessory sets, what I'm going to call it, for the Playmobil. And next I will be doing the Playmobil um, Back to the Future truck. I think that'll be a pretty simple one. And then I also have the Back to the Future 3 Advent Calendar. We'll do it. And that will get us caught up on our Back to the Future ones. So uh, check out my other videos and like and subscribe. I will I already have several of these up. I'm doing a lot of other action figure reviews and some Christmas catalog uh, videos. And um, I just doing a lot of different things so check out my videos see if there's anything else you're interested in um i don't just do playmobil i do a lot of things i'm just doing a series on playmobil right now because i have a bunch that i hadn't opened and i wanted to get those kind of opened up and set up and get some of the boxes out of the way so um i just decided to do a little series on those real quick but if you would, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.